Hey, it's Keely again. I'm here at Oxbow Park with Clarissa. And we're going to be feeding the bison just like you can on Saturday. So we'll get our grain out of the barrel here. What is this? this has a blend of corn, oats, and some molasses chunks. It's just a regular steer feed. It's used for feeding cows. Okay. We'll do one scoop or a scoop and a half for each animal. So that's five scoops because we have five animals plus half scoops for all of them too, which would be two and a half more scoops. So that's three. And do you let the kids do this or do you usually scoop it for them? Or uh, we usually it? scoop it for them. That, oh, we need two and a half more. Seven and a half total, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> five full scoops for each and then a half scoop again in addition. And the reason we do, in the summertime we do five scoops for each mm -hmm. buffalo. But now that's getting colder, the animals are getting warmer. Or I mean, they're getting colder and they need to produce more metabolism or high metabolism. You're going to want the scoop with you. Right. Okay. And then we'll head out. We have little feeding stations right here. You just take the scoop and throw it into the truck. This is one of the things. We have a rule too when we have kids or a bunch of the public here is that we keep them usually in a line pretty far back. Okay. So there might be some select people who get to do the scooping, but not everyone will get a chance. It's more of just seeing them up close because this is as close as you'll get to them here at Oxville Park. Okay. So just you can start just, here. Yep. And do two and a half? One and a half. And a half yep. No, it's My okay. My math isn't good. <laughs> That that was elk too. You can faintly hear it from over here. So do they always go to the same feeding station? Or? No, it depends on the time. The bull will almost always eat first. He's got dominance over this whole herd and he will kick people out. Oh. This one that you're feeding right now, this is one of our oldest cows. She's been here, I mean, no, I want to say 12 years, maybe more. She's been here a long time. And then I think she has a little precedence over the rest of them too. They have that good dynamics. And then of course there's our yearling who always will eat last. It's kind of the scapegoat. They'll chase them away. But the baby gets in, and that's actually a female, so that might be why she gets to eat more too. Am I getting too close? Or? Nope. Oh, Alright. They're pretty into their food at the time, so I don't think you have to worry too much. <laughs> How many times a day do they eat? We actually only feed them once a day. They have they can graze as much as they want. And then in the winter time we use all that hay that's in our shed also for supplemental food because they can't graze at that time and they get a full bale a day. And they'll eat it easily. Like I said yesterday, we give them kind of enrichment food. We give them apples, something different. That's what enrichment food really is. Just something that'll be a little different for them from their normal day a lot of diets, I guess. Do you want to give Keely? Do you want to give him one? Okay, just pause so I can get set up. Okay, perfect. Oh, now he's like, I'm done with you guys. <laughs> yeah, too much commotion. Then. You give him a little. <laughs>